Hi, my name is Rasmus and I'm the product designer of Heat Experience. And today I'm going to show you some of the details regarding our heated insoles. The first thing you do when you receive heated insoles from Heat Experience is to read the user manual. Here you can find all the information you need on how to use and take care of your insoles in the best way. When you read the user manual, you can start to charge the insoles. You do so by plugging them in on the side of the insole. This accounts for both the remote controlled and the app controlled insole. The insoles are charged with the micro USB plug and the insoles comes with a charger that is made for your wall outlet. If you're on the go, you can of course also use a power bank or you can charge them in your USB outlet in your car. Plug them in. When you've plugged them in, you can make sure that the insoles are charging properly by looking for the red light next to the power button. When the insoles are charging, which takes about three hours, the light will remain red. When they're fully charged, the light will switch to blue. Then you know your insoles are fully charged. The remote controlled insoles comes with a remote. There's three heating levels and a power off button. Sometimes the remote control has lost its connections to the insole. Then you simply hold the button on the inside on the insole in for about five seconds, and then it will start to flash between blue and red. Then you press one button on the remote, and then the insole should follow the instruction from the remote. If this doesn't work, the next thing you have to do is to check that the remote itself has battery. You can see that by a red light flashing when you push the buttons here. If the light does not flash, you need to change the battery in your remote. The heat on the insoles are distributed in the front of the insole in this area. You can also cut the insoles to fit your shoe better. Each insole comes with three different sizes. And if this is not your size, you need to either size up or a size down when you buy the insoles. You can easily adjust the size by cutting with a scissor. But make sure to not cut within the inner line. If you cut under the line, you risk cutting your heating element and the insole will not fun function anymore. Sometimes when you have stored your insoles for a prolonged period of time, they might go into what we call a battery protection mode or hibernation mode. You can see this if you try to charge your insoles and instead of the red light coming on as usual, it flashes. To solve this, you leave them plugged in for about 20 minutes and then you go back, plug out and plug back in. Now the red light should come back as normal. If this process do doesn't work, retry a couple of times. And if it still doesn't work, please shoot us a message on email or Facebook and let us know your problem. And we will of course help you as good as we can. If you think that something is wrong with your insoles, we have some simple troubleshooting steps for you to go through to make it easier for us to help you. The first thing you do is to connect the insoles to your charger. If you've charged your insoles for more than five hours, meaning that the light has not changed from red to blue, within five hours, there might be something wrong with your charger or your batteries. To test this, we recommend that you try with another micro USB charger. If they're fully charged within five hours, the batteries works as they should. The next step is then to turn on the insoles, either with your remote or your button. Then turn them on and check that the light is on the red level. Then start a timer for 30 minutes. Go back to your insoles and feel if you can feel the heat. If that's okay, you set another timer for 90 minutes. And if they're still lighting red at that point, your battery is working fine. 
and they're still warm, everything is as it should be. If this doesn't help you out with your problems, feel free to contact us by email or Facebook and further explain your issues.